Hey everyone, let me ask you a straight question for you all. How many of you know how to start your class 10 journey or class 11 journey or class 12 journey? Because all of a sudden the moment you enter class 10, 11, 12, your family members will say, A, you have to be very serious because you are supposed to face board exam. Uh, you are supposed to crack the most important competitive exams. You have to prove in terms of marks, you know, ranks and etc. Right. So the things all of a sudden are overwhelming. Right. All of a sudden a kind of a stress enters into your mind. You don't know what you have to do. You are going to prove yourself in terms of marks and exams. And have you ever thought how you have studied all these years? Nobody cares about how you have studied all these years. Everybody are worried about how you are going to study further, right? If you are the one who is right now so much overwhelming with this society pressure with the pressure from the parent, teachers, friends and etc. Then this is a must watch video for you all. Okay, here I am going to reveal the secrets to start your academic journey. May it be your 10th student or 11th student or 12th student. This is a must watch video for you. Watch till the end. Okay, guys. I'm not going to say too much. I'm not going to take too much time. I'll complete it in few minutes. To start any class, you know, you need four C's. So here in the video, I am going to talk about the four C's. Okay. C to the power four. So number one C that you should have to start your class 10 journey or class 11 journey or class 12 journey or your competitive exam journey you should be having guys courage right courage courage to first identify your weakness courage to identify your weakness guys right what are your strengths and what is your weakness why you cannot understand a particular topic you know how you have studied all these years whatever you studied all these years is it making any sense for you how did you study did you really understand or you just did rot learning teacher gives you some question and answers you write them in your notes and you by hat you said for 10 times something you wrote in your exam and you got passed with 80% 90% 100% but the moment you entered class 10, all of a sudden things are very new. All of a sudden the question seemed very difficult. If you look at the previous year question paper, you are annoyed. You are stressed. You are stressed of competitive exams, right? Why is this happening? Because you don't know what is your weakness. Okay. See, to understand this physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology, you know what? The major problem, okay, so the major weakness that majority of the student have is lack of foundation, okay, lack of foundation or lack of basics, okay, so they don't have the basics that they are supposed to have. Guys, if you don't know how to write molecular formula if you don't know how to balance a chemical equation can you understand chemistry never never right so this is what is the foundation that is required see whether you lack this foundation okay check yourself what is your weakness say if you are finding physics difficult to understand maybe you don't have problem solving skills problem solving skills are very very important for physics yeah okay so that logical thinking that reasoning thinking that understanding nature of concept is very very important for physics so if you lack this basics you know you'll never understand physics even if God comes in front of you and teaches, you won't understand if you don't have these things. 
okay see if you are finding bio very difficult for you then see that whether you at least know the meaning of certain terms basic terminologies which are there in bio once you have identified your weakness and figure out figure out how to learn that okay so have a courage to accept and learn okay so first you have to accept that that is your weakness okay so just do some inward journey analyze yourself close your eyes and see where you are getting struck okay is it because of the basics or is it because of lack of interest or is it because of a kind of pressure you know identify that one thing okay and then accept it's very important to accept our own weakness yaar so majority of the time what happens with people is uh they don't want to accept their weakness okay they want to defend themselves okay so they they always wanted to prove to somebody else why do you want to prove yourself uh, to someone right first you accept your mis uh, your weakness and then try to work on that weakness and learn okay uh, mastered with the weaknesses that you have make that weakness as a strength okay for this you should be having lot of courage guys you should be having lot of courage first to identify your weakness and later to accept you should be having 100% courage and later once you accepted your weakness then automatically you will figure out the ways to learn okay come out of that weakness uh, learn and then making that as a strength that's very very uh, you know intelligent thing that one must will do okay okay and the next c that i wanted to talk is first c is your courage right then next c is you know very very important confidence okay say this is what is lacking in thousands of students here say confidence is very important even if you don't have a basics even if you feel that you are zero in a subject you should be confident enough to learn to master that basics and then crack the exams with ace okay so for getting confidence say if you want to become confident every day soon after you get up from a bed or uh, just before you sleep you just do some affirmations here okay so you can tell yourself that i am super confident i am super powerful okay i am super uh, you know perfect person i am a very good student you know you you say these sentences you do this affirmations with feeling okay with positivity that will definitely help you and that will help you to increase your confidence okay so second see that one must have is confidence okay before you start a class if you are scared enough uh, you know if you are fearful about so many chapters so much of syllabus you know there only you will fail yaar okay so before even reaching a point a uh, you know your, your uh, success is over there okay so confidence matters a lot that is very very important for a student or for any person actually okay so you sh you should uh, believe yourself that you can do it okay you will just do it yaar when you feel that you can do it uh, that thing is over it's like you will definitely do it okay so that's a level of a confidence that you should have before you start your academic journey this is a second c i spoke about right now the third c that you should have is very 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 important consistency okay so without this nothing will come in a life yaar so if you people are so much motivated you know first four days they will study like anything else you know they they'll identify they don't have basics somehow they will learn basics they will start uh, one week they are dead serious one month they are dead serious after that they'll close the book and they'll just enjoy their life okay before the exam they will realize that they have wasted their time but gone is the time no one can help even god cannot help okay so even if you have courage confidence if not this consistency nothing will work okay so consistency means what 
doing constant revisions you know you should be uh, uh, your seriousness levels have to be constant yaar your graph your consistency graph has to be like this okay it shouldn't be like this it shouldn't be like this okay it should be like this constant okay so this is a point zero that you are starting your class and this is a point nth point the end point you know from point zero uh, point zero you have started with some seriousness no the same seriousness have to be there till you reach that end point okay so that is what we call it as consistency okay so constant learning okay that is very very important so your graph should be like this consistency graph should be like this yaar it should not become down okay it can be like this it can be like this it can be slowly increasing order also is fine but it shouldn't be the decreasing order okay so that's very very important and next very 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 important okay so the last one the fourth one is celebration so what is the celebration celebration is not about partying cutting a cake you know going out for a holiday i'm not talking about those celebrations okay for every milestone that you achieve you have to celebrate yourself okay you should you should feel so much grateful that you have completed one chapter revision you should be so much grateful that you have mastered all the basics you should be so much grateful that you have invested uh, some time every day for studies you know you have to be grateful for yourself that is what i mean by celebration here okay say every moment when you are peaceful grateful happier when you are there in a beautiful state only then the things are going to work out in the world okay so that is what being in a beautiful state being in a happy state is what i mean by celebration yaar okay so for every small win you know you pat your back and say you are just great okay so that is what i mean by celebration here right so these are the four c's one must have before you start any class you may be a 10 student 11 student or 12 student see that check that do you have these four qualities okay these c qualities what are the four c's everybody can comment in the chat section i want every one who is looking after this video you know to comment in the comment section yaar the four c's number one courage courage to know about yourself courage to know about your weaknesses courage to accept your weaknesses and then courage to overcome that weaknesses this this courage is very important number one quality is courage that you should have okay so number two is that confidence okay so confidence uh, to start the class confidence on yourself don't try to prove yourself to anyone don't try to impress don't try to compare yaar comparison will kill you okay say your friend is different his mind is different his dna is different everything is different yaar you cannot become like your friend guys this is very important keep it in your mind you can never become your friend your friend dna is different his body is different his mind is different his parents are different his ancestors are different okay so when everything is different you cannot become your friend so don't compare yourself with others that will kill you guys okay so have your own individuality get to know about your own weaknesses and strength work on your weaknesses and convert those weaknesses to your strength that is the key okay and uh, number 3 is a consistency without this you cannot do anything in our life guys okay focus and consistency is very very important and number 4 celebrate every moment in your life celebrate every day celebrate every win celebrate every move celebrate every little success okay in your journey that is also very very important because the more you celebrate your successes the more success will come in front of you and stand okay so this is all you want before you start your class 10 or class 11 or class 12 and society has uh, made these classes so much overhyped 
okay so there is no need to think too much about these classes there is no need to think too much about the marks ranks board exam you know if you just follow your heart if you just try to understand every concept guys mark is a by product okay it will come running behind you okay trust me guys for the student okay especially the class 10 students who lack confidence who do not have basics who is very scared if you want my support throughout the year okay i have made a complete course for class 10 students yaar okay so you can join to this course in this course Uh, i have explained all the concepts in a much more detailed way practical way okay so experiential learning uh, you will get in a course okay all concepts are explained uh, you will find them in the recorded videos and every week i'll meet you live so that you can ask question and answers and every week i will work on your mindset because not only the work outside work inside is also very important you should work Uh, with your mind with your thinking okay with your mindset that's very important so i'll i'll help you out to work on your mindset and uh, i'll keep motivating you i'll keep inspiring you and uh, i'll give lot of questions so that at the end of the course you will become 100% confident to get 100 in science yaar yeah. okay so uh, this is what the assurance i'm giving you and we have lot of testimonials on the course okay so many uh, hundreds of students have got 100% benefit out of the course in the previous years so if you are interested do check it out the link is given in the description link is also given in the comments uh, section okay go through the course if you are interested come join to my course and learn with nalini ma'am okay so that's all guys and definitely i will help all the students of class 10 11 and 12 with my content and videos in the youtube also so stay tuned subscribe and don't forget to share this video to your friend okay you should at least share five of your friends okay so these qualities are very important to start the class 10 year very 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 important okay so that's all about the video see you in the next video and if you are a class 10 student i think i will see you in the course too right so thank you so much